Okay, folks. And uh, here we are, the hideout. You're going to notice a lot of different things here, and I'm going to try to go through most of it. First of all, we have six people. Um, secondly, we lost our last two guys, uh, Mo and Joe, I believe both of them were. Ironically enough, actually, I didn't think about it till now. In any case, um, they died in this next mission we're about to do, and it's uh, pretty crazy, so I'll talk about it once I get there. Anyways, though, I picked up Leroy and Frederick. Frederick, um, two stars in accuracy. Leor has one. You see my little vault thing here. I have a whole bunch of things going on. I have the safe, extra safe cracker, the Nox key, whole bunch of PP7s, whole bunch of silenced PP7s, whole bunch of pistol ammo, tranquilizer, my tranquilizer gun. I have the toy gun in there somewhere too. I have my lock picks in there, some extra SMG ammo. And uh, that was just everything I collected. I kind of grinded off screen to prepare myself for this next mission. I'll tell you about it in a second. Um, they're just kind of two random people I picked up. They're not really serving any purpose. More so just kind of here. Okay, so in our group, we have Joey, like always. He has the RKSMG full ammo. Gave him the improvised explosive. I have Gregory here, his brother. Same thing, RK full ammo. He has the safe cracker. Now these two, the new guys, they both have RK SMGs with full ammo and they both have shotguns with full ammo. I'll get to that part in a second. Now, let's um... Well, I guess I'll show you what I have unlocked. So for weapons, I can buy PP7, PP7 with silencer, safe cracker, shotgun, RK SMG, tranquilizer gun, and the improvised explosive. That's everything we have unlocked so far. So, we'll jump in the van here and go to the uh, mission select screen. And then I'll talk to you about the next mission and what it's about, what my plan is, and how we're going to get through it. So, as you recall, the last video we did was the police impound. We had to find that car, um, break the back, like break into the trunk and steal the goods. So this is what we have unlocked so far. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more missions to go. So right now, well, I guess nine technically. If this is even a mission, if we have to return there, I have no clue. Right now, we're on Superfly. Access Superfly's mansion, rob the safe, loot the drug stash, and find weapon connections. This is a pretty difficult mission, I almost want to say. Not for the fact of sneakiness, more for the fact of, um... It's heavily on the weapon gun combat systems here. So now we're going to have to really get into it and fight and all that. Um, so my plan is, and this is why I had bought new people too, my old people died for one, but for two I wanted some people with better accuracy, and I'll show you why in a second. So here, there's the objectives, intel, armed fly guards guard the mansion, expect many hidden product sashes, no one will miss these guys, no body count, criminals won't call the cops. So. In this mission, we don't have to worry about cops so we can be as loud as we want to be. The fly guys here, we're allowed to kill. That's the biggest thing here. And then the product, basically there's a whole bunch of money we can collect on this mission. Now, like it said, okay, super fly mansion. The man built a castle with his illegal profits, tear it down. So like it said, um, let me just get into position here. Anyway, sorry, like it said, there's no body counts, meaning I can kill any amount of these guys and not have to pay a price for it, which is great. Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to line up my firing squad. Aim and fire. Just like that. Aim, fire. And I'm going to rip through this. Now the reason I have the SMGs is because the pistols were working out a little too slow for me. I kind of had some shitty accuracy and a whole bunch of other things. The other thing that was going on was they were getting shots off and they were pretty good shots and they were damaging my guys and whatnot. So to avoid that, I kind of wanted to, you know, be the faster one at the gun draws here. So that's where this whole coming up with um, this plan is. Now my plan, I'm going to take the two, these two guys here. I'm going to break them off from the group. I'm going to have them secure the buildings and these two are going to sit outside with their, uh, their SMGs. 
these guys I'm gonna flip on to shotguns we're gonna go building by building clearing it out so I mean I'm basically gonna have one guy on point and just the other guys back up just in case but we're just gonna go through and clear it out slowly and calmly um disappeared I was gonna get this guy real quick as if, if he's gonna come this way but if he's not okay whatever we'll leave him for now anyways like I was saying so basically um there's no uh no body count so we're basically going gung-ho we're gonna kill as many people as we can here do as much damage as we can and just you know just gonna go get through it um, the shotguns for the close quarters, obviously, because if you know anything about weapons, shotguns are obviously OP at close quarters, so this game's no different. We've seen it in previous levels. Just like that. I'm gonna take that SMG ammo, and actually I'm gonna take the shotgun cartridges too with this guy. I'm gonna see if I can hit this guy from here. No, I can't. These two probably could. Dude's retreating. He knows he was fucked there. Whole bunch of pistol ammo on this level, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. You know, I don't really need pistol ammo at this moment. Dude's back for more. Is there a different guy? I think there's a different guy. I think it was the same guy, actually. <laughs> In any case, gonna have him come over and cross real quick. Cancel that. I'm gonna give it a second because if they're gonna pop out, he's moving up pretty close. No, I'm not hitting him. Okay. He's the um, two points in accuracy, so he should be pretty good. Have these two just fire at these guys. This is going to be an absolute bloodbath, and you know what? Good. I kind of want it to be. I lost two good guys trying to do this one. They weren't really great on stats, but you know what? They were with me for so long through this playthrough, and now they're just gone. They're just dead. So we gotta, we gotta do this mission big for them, man. We gotta, we gotta do this in their name. I'm gonna make sure there's no survivors here. Okay, so. How's everyone doing on ammo? 38, 42, 48, 12. Okay. Just gonna clear room by room with this guy. It's gonna take it very slow. And I didn't get too far either in this. Just because they were super OP and I was basically really unprepared. Where's this guy? I don't think so. He just survived that first blast. Shoot him, shoot him. There we go. I was gonna say. I seen the No it was up here wasn't it? Yeah it was. Um I'll send this guy up to grab this key. These two I wanna push up. 
going to secure the courtyard here. I think he still has extra room here. Yeah, he does. Okay. What was that, the orange key I got? Yeah, it was the orange key. So far, so good. I don't think anyone on my team's taking damage. Oh yeah, he's taking a little point of damage. Don't even know. I think it was from this guy. I think this guy ran up and punched me real quick. That's right. I'm gonna smash this out. That's gonna be the lights for the courtyard here. Got my shotgun. We're gonna hit point. I'm gonna let this guy take point now. Um, still not a whole lot going on. Pick up some of the money here. And like I said, I did play this mission a little bit before there was supposed to be money in some of these rooms. I've already got the money because I've played it before. Some of the things don't respawn, but. Dude over here. Stop. That was close. Um, the one thing about this game for sure is that there's friendly fire. So you gotta be extremely careful here. So that's why I'm trying to not have my guys like get in their own, each other's way and shit. Because like I said, there's friendly fire in this game, so it's kind of shitty, but at the same time, I don't know. I can see where they're coming from, wanting friendly fire, but... I'm going to have this guy move all the way over there, just to prep. Shotgun, SMG. I think I need both, to be honest. Cancel. Take both. Yeah, you can take both. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna have this guy hit over here, like I said. I'm gonna go two guys, and I'm just gonna clear room by room on this level. It's gonna be the easiest thing, I think. Um, I didn't really show you an overview of this map, I guess. This is like the grand entrance open way. I don't know how many guys he's gonna have here. I don't know what to expect here. There's his safe though. I don't even know if this guy is gonna be here like that super fly dude. So we'll find out soon enough. But he kinda has like little mini guard houses on the side and shit. That's kinda what these things are I guess. Some cash. Do I have room for cash? I don't even have room for cash. Sorry. We're gonna go here. We'll send Gregory to come get this cash. Those red doors are locked up pretty tight, but that's right. And as you see, it's just massive bloodshed already. A couple bodies piled up in the courtyard over here. Fucking bullet casings all over the place, I could imagine. So far, so good though. Like I said, I haven't. Only one guy's taking damage so far, and he got punched. So, that's pretty good. There's a guy right there. Someone in this next room. I just seen that little blimp movement there. I can shoot him through this window. No, I can't. Alright, that's alright. Did he bag the cash? He got the cash down here. Okay. Also, when I was grinding out for cash for this level, 
shit, did he just come out? I think he did. Um, when I was grinding for the cash of the, for this level, I, um, I found a good, like, easy, um, easy level to do to get about 21 grand in about five minutes, roughly. I'll probably, after I do my series, I'll probably post a video, like a quick little tutorial video about how to easily do that mission, because it's, it's pretty helpful. Especially when you need cash for the, like, other missions and shit. Come in here. Okay. Someone in this next room. I'm gonna wait right there for him. As soon as he comes down the corner, he's getting blasted. It's gonna be shitty to be this guy. Yo, he just got shit on. Same with this other guy. As soon as he comes around the corner, oh my goodness. He's gonna get fucking blasted. Do it, man, do it. He's doing it too. Oh, oh. Watch this, highlight reel, highlight reel. Oh, fucking just murder him. That's what I'm talking about. I want the dude's body. The one guy I want to pick up the change, the other guy I don't care about his body. Fuck, I want the blood on my fucking suit for. I'm gonna leave these two at the front for now. I'm expecting to find the red key over here somewhere. Yeah, right there. Weapon flyer. Let's get my boy uh, Gregory in here. Anything else in here? I don't see anything. Nope. What am I supposed to do with them? Oh yeah, never mind. Derp. I'm like, well, if I don't see anything, you know, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And then I'm like, wait a second, I just got the red key, though. I have him come over here with me just in case. I'm gonna make sure to check every nook and cranny of this level. Make sure I can get every exact thing I want out of this level. Sevens, dead guys. I wonder what kind of weapons I'm gonna get from here. I'm actually excited to get this. RK Semtex. If you can afford the best, RK Semtex plastic explosive is what you need. Warning: it requires very small quantities of material for relative large detonations. Use with care. Huh. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I wonder. If I can flank around, I'm gonna have these two guys link up over here. They hit this door, but if I can't flank around, then I'm not gonna do it, obviously. Pretty sure I can flank around on this side. I don't know. It's worth a shot in any case. No, I can't get back there. That's shitty. Kind of hoping I could. Oh well. Back with this squad. Frederick on point. And have him post up.
I'm gonna bag the coke for someone else. Okay, now I want these two guys over here. Good thing I saw the guy here, shit. Blast him again, blast him again. One more time, one more time. Hands up. Alright. I'm gonna secure the foothold in here. Let him come in. Back up. Slowly, I'm just going to clear this building out. Oops. I don't think there's anyone left. If there's maybe one more guy here. No, definitely no one left. One more room to clear and then I'm good. I don't think that dude was here. I didn't notice any different characters or shit, so... Dropping them bags all over the place, man. It's definitely a good run. And destroy the cash boxes. Just in case there's Miraculous people waiting outside for me for some reason. Oh my gun. Oh my gun. You can use the ammo. Go take that. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Tons of ammo all over the place, but I'm gonna take as much as I can, but that's about it. Um, oh, before I forget, I was gonna check out this room too. It's the only room I didn't check out. Yeah. 
cleared all that. Cleared. Yeah, there's just the one room on the east side I didn't check out. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay. Everything from this room? Cool. Well, I have extra space on my guys, so I'm gonna grab as much pistol ammo as I can. Cause why not? No, nothing here. And I'm good to go. Definitely went really smoothly. Only got hit a couple times. One of the times I was punched, so. I think I still have lots of room in most of my guys, no? Yeah, he has one slot. He doesn't have any extra room. He has one more slot still. He's full. Made off with three bags. Two bags of coke, one bag of uh, cash. So that's not bad. Quick scour for ammo. Who has room still? He has room. These two didn't have room though. No. So I'm gonna send these two back in the truck. Or the van, sorry. Grab as much ammo, uh, ammo as I can, and then I'm gonna bust out of here. Uh, let's go over here. I don't think there was any ammo in there. I'm just gonna re-sweep these rooms for ammo. Ammo, ammo, ammo. I think this was a great, great slaughter. That's what I think this was. I don't think I'm gonna make off for that much cash though. Three, okay, never mind. 14 grand. Plus another two. That's about 18. Sorry, 19. Probably about 20 grand realistically. Once it's all added up. Which is pretty nice. There's no ammo in here. Okay. What about you? Any ammo in here? Nope. I know there was ammo in there. The ammo in here though, I don't even think it was from the guy, it was from my last run. The guys died over here, the two guys that I currently lost. They both died over here and yeah, that's where that ammo came from. Uh, I don't think there was ammo in those rooms, but so I'll check. Obviously the one ammo there. Is there ammo in that room? I don't think there was, but I'll check. I think there was ammo somewhere over here. And like I said, just the one over there. So yeah, pretty good heist. If you want to call it that. Well, I guess you'd still call it the heist, yeah. I mean, we did end up stealing shit from this guy, so. We also killed all of his uh, goons, but that's a whole other story. That was revenge. Mo and Joe. Man, I'm going to miss those two. Oh, well. Look at all the shell cases. Jesus Christ. It's great. That's just the, um, the SMG ammo. That's not even the shotgun ones. There's tons of shotguns here. Shotgun uh, casings there and oh my goodness. They just got slaughtered. Shit. Doors not unlocked, so I have to go all the way around. It's kinda crappy. But oh well. I know there was ammo here. There was some ammo here, I think. I think that was it, but needless to say. Definitely gonna be doing a lot of uh, inventory after this mission before we do the next mission. But oh well. They just got slaughtered. Slaughtered, slaughtered. But yeah. If I would've, like, I was recording, obviously, the first time I went through this. But if you would've seen it, it was just horrible. Fucking, they were down to at least half health, if that, here already. I learned that there was friendly fire in the game the hard way. And it was just, 
There was a whole bunch of shit that could have been avoided that wasn't. It was pretty bad. I'm not going to take any of the PP7s even if I do have the extra room. I already have so many guns, I don't need more. One more room to check and then I can bounce out with this last guy. But yeah, as I was saying, it was just, it was so shitty. And how I ended up losing these two actually was kind of ironic. Um, I don't really remember who it was. It was Joe. He was standing here. Mo was here with the shotgun. He shot at the guy here. I entered this way. And, um, I don't know if it was this guy that killed him or if it was the friendly fire that killed him. But anyways, Joe ended up dying. And I guess this, the, uh, improvised explosive went off. And it fucking blew up the room. I mean, Joe died. Mo died. This guy died. It was, oh my god. It was pretty shitty. Nope, that's it. Okay. So we're almost ready to call this a heist then. That was pretty great. How many guys were there? One, two, three, four, five, I want to say six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We'll say about 15 guys. It wasn't too bad though. Barely got scratched and I didn't lose a single guy, so that's good. All the preparation paid off. 20 grand. What? Yo. Apparently I missed out on 3 grand worth of loot. Really? I wish I could go back and look. That's whatever. 20 grand's still a lot though. I'm happy with that.